Hello and welcome to another episode of Rapid Chess. And I'm here, I hope you're doing fine. Today I'm gonna play just as usual one 10 minute game. So let's get started. If you are new to the channel, I am a noob trying to improve at chess and I post videos of my games and training sessions online in the hope of getting helpful tips and critiques from the audience so that I can improve. I do analyze my games with an engine, but I very much prefer the good old fashioned human connection. So we are playing against an opponent from Israel, it looks, which is called Ugif Ugif Litzet. Hope I'm not mispronouncing that too badly. Israel? Yes, Israel. I always mess up flags, so I try to make sure that I that I at least get some of them right. Let's see what he will do here. I don't know if this person is a male or a female, but until I'm not certain, I will assume it's a male. Okay, now I'm uncertain whether to push or maybe develop. Maybe a developing move would be good. Well, let's see. Now he, he has this idea of pushing here. Yeah, I thought about that too late. So I think I can I can safely push this pawn. I, I don't see any any major threats. And I'm exposing my king a little too much. Um but we'll see. Yeah, maybe that was the wrong move. Anyways, let's castle and try not to lose this game. <laughs> Okay, so we can go like this. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna um, I don't wanna get double pawns on the queen side, even though it looks like um, I might be getting them. It's because I accidentally blocked my bishop upon I'm moving my queen, so that doesn't look too promising. I moved the knight over to d5 because I, I want to be able to make some threats. But it does not seem to be the best move here, so what can we do? I'm thinking queen, queen e3. It threatens the bishop, and then it kind of you know, proposes a queen trade, but he's up a pawn, so I, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that. I could, uh, I could play king b two. Uh, sorry, king b one. Would that be a good move? Yes. Let's try to play king b one first. If he plays um, rook to d1, then I absolutely think I need to... Oh well, why playing this move? Okay, where can my knight jump? Maybe the best square is... Isn't this the best square? I'm not sure. I mean, I cannot jump. I cannot jump on the c7 and e7 because queen and bishop are guarding those squares. Is there anything I am missing? I don't really know. I could even think about jumping over here and then over here. It wouldn't be too bad. Oh.
Is this wrong in any way? No, I don't think it is. If he takes, then I can take back. Um, if he does something like rook to d1, uh, to d8, oh my god, I keep messing up the name of the squares. I can just take his queen, then he takes my queen back, then I take back with a bishop. Yeah, I think there is no, no big threats. Except, except he does that. Uh, I think you messed this up somehow. I always manage to mess things up. All kinds of position. This doesn't look too promising for me. Just take a sip of water, excuse me. Yeah, I would have made the same move. And I cannot recapture due to, well, how about something like bishop here? No, because then he can take, oh my god, oh my god, this position. This position. Man, oh man. I don't like this position at all. Now he could easily, <laughs> now he could easily go up something like bishop d4. I'm having super trouble, you know, thinking of a counterattack. Messy, messy position. Oh, he does that. Is there any way that I can save myself? So let me think about this. If he takes, uh, sorry, if I if I make some, if I move something like the bishop. And then he takes, then I can take back. He takes, I take back. I don't think this is a... Oh, but there is always this problem. Oh, man. Um, I think my only chance is to... But then again, if I, if I go like this... I think this is my only hope here. I mean, I think I will lose a piece no matter what, um, and I don't have too much time to calculate. But I was pretty confident that if I moved the bishop, um, he could have taken somewhere. Um, but now he leaves me. He gives me a piece. Why? Hold on a second. Rook, rook takes, queen takes checkmate. Holy moly. Did he ha did he have this threat like for many moves? Didn't didn't he? Oh but no there there is always a queen, but the queen is under Yeah, no, I think I could have I could have gotten um, a full piece. Yeah, may yeah, maybe that was an advantage. It's such a complicated game, oh my god. Super tense. Super, super tense. Um, let's play it like this. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Hmm. Will he put some more pressure? Such a tense game. And he is up by quite a lot of time. I hope this is at least as fun to watch as it is for me to play. I'm really having a good time. So he's always a pawn up. I should I should think about ways of, you know, getting the pawn back. The the only thing I can think about or I can think of right now though is taking the bishop. That's the only thing I can come up with. No, but I think I should really reinforce my position over here. I don't think there was a this was a spectacular move. I mean I don't I don't actually see the point of that. Uh-huh. Now if I take, he'll take, and I'll take back, and he'll checkmate me. So the right move in this position, I think it would be um, to simply retreat the bishop, um, and then possibly, um, you know, accept the exchange offer, because he's got this square over here. Um, didn't he just... Give me a full piece. Yeah, I think he gave me a full piece. Yeah, that was a major blunder, blunder by his part, which I will gladly accept. What a game! I'm sure I've made many blunders. I will, um, I will take a look at them, of course, with the computer. But please, do feel free to, you know, tell me what my mistakes were. Um, Strategically, possibly, yeah. Um, and, you know, maybe anything you can come up with. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do leave a like or, you know, a comment down below, just as I said. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. Bye.